our long-awaited beauty favorites of the year. I know I did not do any beauty favorites for winter or fall, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry guys, I know I missed out on that. Um, the reason was because I did not have many beauty products in which I switched up or anything like that. I've been keeping like my regular routine, but I did add a few items. So I just decided to just pile them all up together just for beauty favorites of the year. Why not? There's quite a few things that you might have not seen, not even in my tutorials. So they're gonna be sort of new to you guys, but I have been using them in my routine and throughout this month but a lot of them as well have been things that I have not stopped using some of them I've used in every single tutorial so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's gonna be a bit long I'm gonna try not to make it so chatty so I want to go ahead and jump into it and yeah I want to jump into some skincare the first thing I want to talk about is the bye bye makeup from it cosmetics this I talked about in my last haul in which I included, of course, a giveaway and I'm running another one right now just in case. I'm going to put the video right here just in case you have missed it. And this is basically like a melting makeup cleanser, like a melting balm. And this is amazing. I love it. This just wipes all of your makeup off. And it's just so effortless, so easy to take off. I just really, really love it. The only thing about it is that you have to be extra clean with this. Um, you do have to really wash your hands with it. You always have to do that, but uh, with this, you, you have to make sure you do that because you do have to get your hands into this, um, this product. So you might get bacteria in it. So that's the only downside of this. But other than that, this product is amazing. It's worth, the splurge is $38, but it's worth it. Um, it does have 2.38 ounces or 2.82, just letting you know there. But it is worth it. I'm sad about it because I used this really quick. I'm almost finishing this thing up, but I am repurchasing it because it is amazing. Next thing that I added into my skincare routine, it's here in its packet because I love to keep it there. Just to keep it fresh and everything. I know you can keep it in like a soap thing, but I think that I feel like it lasts less longer so I just keep it in here because it dries up um, so what I do is just uh, wet my face a little bit and then wet the bar and just do all the foaming this is amazing this is from Cole Lion I never know how to mention this name but I'm just gonna put it right here this is their O2 sparkling blackhead soap and what I love about this is that even though it has charcoal it does not do any um, like extra mattifying to your skin so it won't dehydrate your skin actually this helps dehydrated skin so if you're um, struggling with that I have like really oily skin but really dehydrated skin as well and I love this soap and it smells amazing so go ahead and check it out this just cost me five dollars this is the small one but it lasts you quite a bit I've been using this for three weeks straight like every single day in the morning and it's still there almost complete so let me just show you a little bit I still have it in this little package just to keep it like fresh like I said before so yeah so now I want to talk about some concealer and foundation the first thing I want to talk about is this concealer palette I don't know if you've seen my tutorials but if you have you know that I've used this like twice but I use this every single time in my makeup routine like I don't know if you can tell it's almost finished and I usually just use the peaches and the yellows and the green because it's my problem area but I love this palette it's just so easy to blend it's the NYX palette just in case I didn't mention that but it's just so easy to blend I still like to use a little bit of facial oil just to make it a little bit more easy to blend and hydrating but it's amazing I think it's been the best drugstore palette ever for um, color correcting honestly just the best color correcting palette ever um, the only thing I feel is that it just has two little products. It's $10 for a drugstore. It's a little pricey for that. But honestly, I think it's still worth the splurge because it is amazing. Um, I just wish it had a little bit more product. Check it out. Um, it's amazing if you haven't tried this out yet. Another thing that I want to talk about is something that I finally decided to try. And I have not stopped using it ever since. I have this foundation on right now and I'm so obsessed with it. This is the... L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. 
oh my gosh this is so similar to the NARS foundation that I've been telling you guys that I'm trying to purchase but it's just $55 it is a little bit more sheer than that but the consistency is very similar and it does stay as long as the NARS and it does not break me out so I love that about that and it's liquid I thought it was gonna be moussey I thought it was gonna be heavy and it's not so lightweight I love that in this foundation you can build it up to full coverage as you can tell they have a good range of shades so that's amazing it is a pricey foundation or drugstore but it is worth it if you don't want to go for the $55 go ahead for this so now I'm gonna jump into some powders the first thing I want to talk about is the Selena MAC like blush slash bronzer powder. Oh my gosh, this was a purchase that I didn't care if it was $40. I had to make the splurge. Honestly, the shades were so beautiful. The bronzer shade is perfect for contouring, for bronzing, everything. And you can mix them together and make such a beautiful blush shade. And if you use it alone, honestly, the blush shade is amazing. Like you can tell, I have a little bit of foundation on my hand right now. I don't know if you can tell, I'll still clean it up and just show you a little close up. But um, it's amazing, I love how it's a dust rose and it's just so easy to blend, so creamy. I loved this and the compact is so pretty. I'm all about packaging, you know me guys, but obviously about quality as well. And I just thought it was one of the collections from MAC that I thought it was worth it because most of their collections can be a little bit crappy, honestly. But this was something that I needed in my collection. Now that we're talking about blushes, I also want to talk about the NYX Ombre Blush. This blush is so beautiful. I got it at the Vloggin Fest in a goodie bag. And honestly, that was one of the best gifts ever. I still want to like expand my collection with these blushes because they're so creamy. They're so pigmented. And they have a tint of shimmer, but it's not like overwhelming. It's like their Dusty Rose shade. Oh my gosh, I love shades like those, honestly, for my skin tone. If you like shades like that, this is a perfect shade. I think it goes with almost every skin type, so that's what I love about this shade. And it's even lost a little bit of shimmer, so if you don't like that, just pick this up. Don't be scared. It's not going to have that intense shimmer. So for highlighters, I want to mention a highlighter that had a lot of hype, and it was very hard to get your hands on, but it was so affordable that you didn't care. Just You would just search everywhere for it. It was a Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I did not get my hands on the gold brick. I'm so sad about that. Hopefully I ever get my hands on that. I can't order it online because they don't send to Puerto Rico, but if any of you want to send me one, go ahead <laughs> because I need that in my life. Oh my gosh. So this is the shade Precious Petals and oh my gosh, I have it on right now. Like, I don't know if you can tell, because the lighting does not help too much, but I'm just going to swatch it a little bit here. Oh my gosh, that's just a little swatch. Look at that glow. Look at the glow. Look at the glow. <laughs> I love this, like, for the price. Wet and Wild, with their makeup, and even their packaging, it's so sleek. It's so easy to just store everything. I love it. Like, lately, I've been leaning so much towards Wet and Wild makeup and now they're coming out with new foundations and stuff and I want to check that out because you know I'm all in for that affordable makeup we know that life some palettes that I loved 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 this year and I couldn't stop using them ever since I purchased them they were basically all I used the first one I want to talk about is graveyard girls and heart collaboration I got this as a gift from my boyfriend and I thank him so so much because honestly this palette is amazing it's a palette that you can use every day because of its beautiful colors. They're neutral, but you can also do smoky eye. For winter, I stopped using it a little bit, though they still have like a uh, cool tones on the bottom here. I honestly set it aside a little bit because it was all I used. It was one of the palettes that I was like using every day. So I was like, like ignoring every single palette that I had. So I set it aside for a little bit but I love this palette. It's so pigmented, like, especially this highlighting shade. Like, if that highlighter is like this, all of this palette is like that. It's so crazy pigmented that there is a little bit of fallout, but honestly, I don't care because I love the pigmentation. Like, if it's pigmented, I don't care. Like, I'll just do my eyes first and then 
you know, whatever. Another palette in which I have that same problem, I use it every day and I have to move it out of my way for a while because honestly, it's all I use. It's the Sweet Peach palette, which is back in stock. This one, you can get it for now. Um, and they have a whole collection and it's gonna be like completely in stores around January 6th or 5th. This palette is so pigmented as well. I love Too Faced palettes, not just because of their awesome packaging, but because their shadows are so pigmented, so creamy, and they smell amazing, of course. And of course, they're cruelty-free. They use natural ingredients most of the time. They're basically vegan, so honestly, I love that in eyeshadow palettes because I'm very sensitive, especially around my eyes. You can do so much with this palette. You can do smoky eyes. You can go cool tone. You can go warm tone. Obviously, this palette leans more towards the warm side, but you can still get your cool tones there, which is amazing as well. You have everything here, and I love that in a palette. Another palette that I want to talk about, and this one's a new one. Yes. If you speak Spanish, I have a Spanish tutorial on this palette. I'm gonna put it right here. This is the Tartiest Pro from Tarte. You know, the people who went to Bahamas. If you did not see that, people, yeah. I wanted that palette because I it was so hyped, but I saw the shades at first. I didn't want it because there's so many matte shades in this palette, but honestly, there's matte shades that I did not have. So I was like, I need that palette. It's so beautiful. I'll give you guys a better close-up because I don't want you to see. It's a huge mirror. I love that about that palette as well. It has a huge mirror. And it has 16 matte shades and 4 shimmer shades. This palette is everything. I love how easy it is to blend your eyeshadow shade. The formula is pretty similar to the Graveyard Girl one. It's not the same, I have to say. There's not a lot of fallout, so if you like that, you're going to like this this palette a lot more. I do wish it was more like even when it came to shimmer and matte shades. The only one I haven't used yet is Minx and I'm dying to create a look with that. So I don't know, if you want me to keep creating looks with this palette, just let me know because I am obsessed with it. Last palette I want to talk about is the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. I used it today on my eyes and Honestly, from all the Urban Decay palettes, this would have to be my favorite because I feel like Urban Decay naked palettes, they're overhyped. I feel like, okay, they're nudes, but I have so many nudes palettes, and they're pretty. They're very pretty. Um, if you're a person who likes the nude life, that's great. Their quality is pretty good. But honestly, the selection of shades is not my favorite favorite. I feel like it's very repetitive. Um, but with this one, I felt like it was something that I needed in my collection. So it depends on what you need. It's not that I don't like them. It's just I don't need it. So this one was perfect for me. I don't have a lot of smoky colors like black or, or just cool tone shades. So this one was perfect in the packaging. I think it was so sleek. I thought everything about this palette was just Perfect. I love how it has the perfect transition shades as warm and a lot of cool tones, of course. I did not have that, and I love every single shade from here. Um, some of the shades I do have to use um, setting spray, but I don't care. It's, it's perfect still. Um, today, I am wearing the shade Armor with some of their transition shades, and I'm obsessed. I love how Armor has a little bit of glitter on it. It's just perfect, especially if you need some ideas for, you know, the New Year's Eve. This palette is amazing. It has that that vibe. And now for January, you know, we're now entering winter and all of that. So the Naked Smoky palette is amazing. And it's been on sale for quite a bit this season. So check it out. Now that we're talking about eyes, I want to talk about something that I've been wearing in every single tutorial. This has been like a staple in every single tutorial. This is the Master Prime. This has been something that I use in every single tutorial, every single time for my eyeshadow. This primer, this is not a primer that will correct your imperfections or anything like that. But this will make your eyeshadow last a lifetime. This is so good. I love the consistency. It dries up like that. It does not dry your eyelids. 
that's what I love about this. They also have another one that's hydrating if you're extra dry. But honestly, I have dry eyelids and I haven't had trouble with this one. I've tried other drugstore ones if you're looking for a drugstore one. Just for an alternative, if you have not seen me use this, if you're not subscribed to my channel, so you probably should. Or you should hit the bell because you're not getting notified. <laughs> Alright, so something else that I want to talk about is a liner that changed my life ever since I got it. Thank you, Maybelline, for this. What is this? Like, this, honestly, okay, I'm grabbing it the other way around. This. I thought this was weird as hell. At first, I thought this was going to make me do a crazy ass liner, but this is the best liner you could have in your life. I do my eyeliner like that. If you're a beginner, use this. This is the best liner ever. It's so black and since it's small, you have control. Like all I do is mark my line and that's it. Just shape it up. Like everything about it is perfect. I love it. I know the shape is weird, but trust me, you have to trust me. I'm very bad sometimes at liner. This changed my life. Like now I'm a professional at liner because of this. You wanna be a pro? Use this. This is the Master Precise Kirby Eyeliner from Maybelline. Moving on from the eyeliner discovery because that changed my life, honestly. Let's talk about this mascara. This is the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. Yes, I finally used it. Everybody has used this. I decided to use it. This is the, the travel size, but honestly, I never finished mascara, so I decided to get this. This was from the Black Friday kit that I got. This mascara is awesome. If you hate the clumps or anything like that, I don't hate them. I like them sometimes. Um, if you don't like Better Than Sex Mascara because of the clumps or anything, this is an option. It's a fiber one, so it's amazing because of that. It looks like it's gonna give you clumps. It's not. It is amazing. I do wish that this was waterproof though. Other than that, this is a great mascara. It will make your eyelashes look beautiful and fluttery. And I'm wearing it right now, so I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Go check it out, it's very nice. Once again, this is the Lens Camera Lashes from Tarte. To finish this beauty favorites off, I'm gonna finish it off with some lippies because lipsticks are the best thing ever. I thought I was gonna have a lot, but I've showed you guys so many lipsticks that I'm just gonna go for two, which I have used throughout the season. So the first lipstick I wanna talk about is this Wet n Wild Color Icon Matte Liquid Lipstick. Like I said before, this liquid lipstick is not available right now, but um, you can find it in another packaging. I'm pretty sure they're gonna make the shade in the other packaging. I'm gonna put the link in the description box below. I always put all the items in the description box. This is the shade, How Fleek Is Your Love. They're not different at all. That's why I'm mentioning them. The formula is not different at all. I purchased the other ones as well. I don't remember the name exactly. I just can't find them right now. They're like in my purse or something. So, honestly, for the price you're paying, this is, this has to be in your collection. What I Wealth is going to be bringing quite a few things. If you haven't checked, like, what's going to be new for January, go ahead and check it out. They're already selling some things on their website. If you're from Puerto Rico, you can obviously not get them. So, but some of them are already available at Walgreens. So... Go check them out. Some of them have been in limited quantities. I'm not sure if they're going to be permanent yet. I'm, I haven't heard anything about that. So hopefully they are. They do wear off when you eat and all that. But what the hell. You're going to actually retouch. It won't like, get crumbled up or budge or anything like that. So I love that in a liquid lipstick. And lastly, I want to talk about a liquid lipstick that I don't know why I never purchased her liquid lipsticks ever. Are the Kat Von D lipsticks because this formula is amazing for dry lips. Her formula is pretty similar to Wet n Wild in when it comes to hydration and all of that. It's matte but it won't like crumble up or it won't accentuate your fine lines and wrinkles and it's just perfect. It does wear off as well a little bit but I love 
the formula. So that's pretty much it for my beauty favorites of the year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it can be a little long, but if you do like videos like these, give this video a big thumbs up. That way I know that you do like them and I can continue doing them. This was basically like an overall review of all the products that I loved throughout the year. I hope you had a great year overall, guys. Thank you so much for your beautiful support. Like I said before, I have a giveaway right now going on, so go ahead and enter. I'm going to put the link down below. It's actually running in a video that I posted last week, so make sure you enter because I'm giving away a naked smoky palette, and you don't want to miss that. So don't forget to subscribe just so you don't miss out on any future videos. Hit that bell just so you get notified every time I air one. Happy holidays, guys. Happy New Year. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to beautify with love. Bye.